Did someone get that? Oh, man. You scared me. I've got your puzzle. Uh, wow. I thought you were coming later. Um, how'd you... How'd you know where I was? Be careful with this. <laughs> okay, thank you. I got it. <laughs> what the hell is this?
Where do you want this? Whew, here we are. The much anticipated holy grail. Now, first of all, hope you enjoy that intro. Longest intro we've ever done on this channel. Uh, by far the most work we've put into one of these intros. Special thanks to Bond Share Caves near Ottawa. If you're ever looking for a dope place to go cave dwelling, I left the link below. This is the work of master fine furniture craftsman, Craig Thibodeau and uh, Robert Yarger, who's a famous puzzle crafter. I commissioned this about a year and a half ago and uh, it, it finally showed up. The idea that I had for this was I wanted the holy grail of puzzles, the, the literal holy grail of puzzles, and, and here we are. So the wood here is, uh, the dark wood here is Wenge, and the other sort of lined wood here is Makor, Makor, Makor. So very rare uh, woods, hard to work with. Beautiful job, pristine job, it's also, uh, sort of adorned with all of this beautiful brass work that's all custom made as well. And the chalice here in the middle, the grail is, I believe made of steel, made in Italy. And here you go, this is it. This is what $40,000 of puzzle looks like. By far the most expensive and probably the greatest puzzle to ever be solved on YouTube. Uh, I'm rather, I'm rather excited. I don't want to just get into it right away because I've been waiting so long for this. We got multiple angles, by the way. We got over the shoulder. I'm going to be grabbing this one if we need any close-ups of anything. We got the GoPro as well as we got this main camera here. So, uh, if, you, if you're willing to drop a like right now, maybe just comment, maybe tell some friends, get this trending. That would help me a lot to help pay for this puzzle would mean, would mean the world to me. Uh, so, so do that if you can. Also, if you guys would like to see how this was made, I'm going to do a follow-up video in the next couple days. It's basically gonna show a little bit of the inner mechanics, a lot of the inner mechanics. We're gonna go into detail how this was made. We're gonna talk to Craig and we'll, uh, we'll give you some more info about this puzzle because today it's all about the solve. So we've quested, we found the Holy Grail, we've brought it back and now it's time to get this thing going. Oh. <sighs> So there's one feature in this that I asked Craig to include. It was the only thing I asked to include was when you lifted the bell jar, I wanted the, the chalice to retract into the puzzle. That's all I asked for. The rest, I don't know. Uh, Craig also gave me one clue. He said, without this clue, he's not sure I'd be able to, to manage. Uh, he said uh, 90 degrees four times. That was the clue, 90 degrees four times. That's all we got. That's all I know. <laughs> Here we go. Are we rolling? Are we rolling? Here we go. This is it. <laughs> oh my God. That was awesome. Didn't even make a sound. That was like, wow. Nothing to be seen here. Wow, all right, I'm gonna put this aside. So as you can see on the top here, you've got these uh, pieces of wood that just came in and sort of closed off, closed it off. And now we've gotta go get the grail. Uh, okay, so what I'm thinking is these brass things here, some of them probably have to, uh, have to shift. We're just gonna go around the puzzle here and if I find anything of interest. All right, so this whole part shifts here a little bit. Watch this. So that goes in. You got like a button here. Oh, this as well seems to. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello. We've got a little uh, little piece of brass that came off. Looks to be like a lever of some sort. This one here, this one here's a bit wiggly. There's something here, this, this lever, there's like a switch here. Oh, there's a button. There's a button. Maybe if I can push the button. Ah. 
Okay, I've unlocked something. There's a small button in here that I had to push and then turn on the back side here. Looking at the, oh, here we go. What I've just discovered is that right here, this thing pushes in. Not sure. Oh, not sure what that does. So it pushes in, but, oh, I feel like this can slide over this little bit. I feel like this can slide when that's pushed in. I'm not sure yet. Not sure what that does. I know that over here, so we got this piece out. This is the piece that we, uh, we got out of there. And then here was the little, there was a small button that we had to press, which is up here. And we had to turn this, uh, this knob is pretty dark, you can't see that. So far, we've got a few things moving. We've clicked something. This thing here tends to almost like rotate. I'm thinking this button might be connected to something else. It's so well made that, that it's virtually seamless. Like any, any type of like, uh, any type of clue or seam is just hidden in the craftsmanship, which makes it that much more uh, inconspicuous. See, this one here is loose. This little brass, oh, this one slides up. Okay, there we go. We got something here. Okay. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what is this? It's a key. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Okay. We've got a key. Wow. Uh, there was a hole down here. Maybe. No. What could this key be for? What could this key be for? These corners want to come out. They all like nudge ever so slightly. I can't, uh, I can't seem to move them more than just wiggle them around. Like you can hear them wiggling. And there's a reason they wiggle. Otherwise they wouldn't wiggle. These ones don't move at all. So we have corners on these sides, on the bottom, the little brass parts, they don't move at all. Uh, but the ones that are over on this side, uh, they tend to move. What does this key give us? It's a square key. Okay, put a little light down in the front so you can see a little bit more what's going on here. Now, this part here, this pushes in a little bit. Now, if I push this in, I can slightly shift that to the side, which stops that from coming back out a little bit. Then over here, I can pull this out just a tiny bit, like ever so slightly, just like that. And then that leads me over here to where this one, I can just slightly move it over to the right. Just watch. That's it. This whole part in the front um, looks like it wants to shift outwards, almost like a, a drawer or some cat, some type of little compartment here. So that's where I'm at with that. Whew. It's so subtle, these little movements. They're, they're like tiny little movements. So I'm not even sure if that's what I'm supposed to do here. What is that key for? This one looks like it moves too. I didn't move that one before, I think. It's gotta be something to do with this. this. I'm at a loss. It's 
stuck. Kind of stuck right now. It's not, uh, nothing moves anymore. Nothing, uh, nothing moves enough for me to do anything. And there's, there's little levers and little buttons, but they don't go anywhere. They don't lead anywhere. This kind of reminds me of a, I just finished watching um, one of the greatest movies ever made, uh, National Treasure. And when he's, in the, uh, when he's in the Oval Office, I think it's National Treasure 2, and he's playing around the desk and things are popping out. It's kind of what this reminds me of. Except Nicolas Cage will be done by now, you know? There's something to do with this compartment here. It shifts a little, these little pieces shift ever so slightly. Oh, oh. Okay. That just shifted. The foot here just shifted. Oh. What does that do? Okay, that came out. That's cool. <laughs> oh, now this thing shifted all the way over. This comes out, let's go. This corner here just came out. Feel like it wants to turn. Okay, so this thing comes out. This thing moved over. Oh! We got like a button here. Oh, hello. Look at this. We found another part of the key. Check this out. Oh, check this out. We now have a key. Look at that key. Woo. little hole in there. Oh. That's the clue. 90 degrees, four times. So that's two. Okay, that seems like it's at the end of it. Come on! How amazing is that? Here, here is the Holy Grail. Very solid, very heavy. And underneath, we've got a little bag of coins. Now this is, uh, this is Craig's signature coins. Craig and, uh, Craig and, uh, and Robert Yarger. So you got the uh, you got the Stickman coin there, which is Robert Yarger's coin. And then you have CT Fine Furniture, which is uh, Craig Thibodeau. First of all, I'm really really intrigued to see the inside mechanisms of this. Uh, so underneath what we're left with is a key, and this key here actually opens the door uh, which Antoine has seen and we have not seen yet uh, so it opens this door 
and it shows you exactly how the mechanism is made. Uh, if that's something you're into, stay tuned for the next video. We're not gonna be opening it now. I'm gonna do a whole separate video on the mechanisms of this and show you guys how interesting it is because I think it deserves its own video. Uh, but for now, what I really wanna do is I wanna put everything back and I wanna go through the solve from A to Z in one fell swoop for you guys. All right, so now, moment of truth. This is locked into position. <laughs> How cool is that? That's pretty magical. That's pretty magical. First thing is first, what we're gonna do, we have this, which doesn't open here, it opens here, right? So, that lifts up, that slides in, that slides in, this opens, we have a key. One key. Now we come down here. Boom. And this can come out. That moves out. Over here. Boom, that comes out. Now that we're in that position, uh, we need the second key, which is here. Push this in here, pull this out gives us the second part of the key, which we assemble. This key then goes in here. Can you see in there? All right, so the key's in. We turn that. Now, it unlocks this. Now you can hear it's winding. One. Two. Three. Four. Sounds pretty good. Wow. I mean, that's pretty brilliant. This is entirely mechanical. There are no electronics in this. It is one of the reasons it makes it just an impeccable, amazing piece. Normally, puzzles of this, I mean, just even, even anything, anything I've done in the past just pales in comparison to the, the ideas behind this, the quality of this, the craftsmanship, obviously, but just the R&D that went into this is incredible and for it for it to slowly gradually come up like that and for the things to open up for it to come out and then go back down in such a i mean there's like a, a tiny bomb in here and it's it everything works so precisely so it's, it's really really incredible so guys if you guys want to see uh what's going on in this puzzle which i highly recommend stay tuned to this channel don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell to get notified appreciate you guys watching this and uh, special thanks to Craig and uh, Robert Yarger for putting this together. We'll be talking a lot more about them on the next video. We'll see you then. Peace. Right.